The Boston Bruins lose the second half of a back-to-back -back against the Tampa Bay Lightning in a game they didn't really have much hope, and due to a, li a new lineup change that worked out very well, the Bruins had a lot to consider in this game, a lot to work out, but, you know, we're gonna have to be talking about this here, the reasons why the line changed, as well as the Bruins have been linked to top NCAA prospect who is a free agent. So we're gonna be talking about all of these major topics here in this video. Before we do, we know that 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed to the channel. If you're looking for a spot to stay up to date with all of your Boston Bruins news, you're in the right spot. Make sure you hit the sub button, lets us know that you're enjoying the content as well as you'll be staying up to date with all the Boston Bruins news and you'll be the first to know as it happens. But like I said, we're going to be touching on the game here first, just briefly talking about it. They simply couldn't compete against the Tampa Bay Lightning, but a lot of this the Bruins couldn't do much, um, you know, anyways. I think that a lot of this there was really no choice of winning, there was no chance of winning. Due to it being, like I said, a second part of a back-to-back, -back, playing Florida two days ago, uh, the day before the game, and what physical matchup that was, I think the Bruins were definitely uh, a bit worn out in that game uh, against the Tampa Bay Lightning, as well as Tampa was just the better team. So I'm not going to pull up the box score. It's going to be on the bottom screen if you want to look at it. There wasn't too much uh, activity on that for the Bruins, but I will pull up the stat card once again, as I always do. Really, it's a good indication of who's been good, who's been bad on the ice, without fully going in-depth into every uh, nitpicky situation. But as you can see here, a lot of negatives, unfortunately, on the bottom. Brandon Carlo, Parker, Watherspoon being one. Maybe hinting to a, a new lineup change there. So, you know, once again, I'm going to leave those two out of it for now, just kind of saying uh, and assuming that it was because of uh, the swap around, just trying to uh, work each other out for the first time. But, you know, a lot of it I don't think was the Bruins' fault. A lot of the negatives really couldn't have any, uh, like, nothing could have happened from them. The Bruins, unfortunately, just couldn't keep up with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, the Lightning were the much better team in this game. You hate to give them credit, but where it's due, you have to give them credit. And, you know, the loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning here uh, gave a potential matchup for Tampa and Boston in the playoffs. So it's something that, you know, I'll be touching on a bit uh, more in depth later. But uh, realistically, uh, a game the Bruins couldn't couldn't really get much hope out of after that game against Florida, as well as just being on the double side of a back-to-back, -back, which is a very unfortunate situation. But the Bruins still have time to, you know, get their wheels, um, get their wheels going, get their wheels going for the final a uh, little bit of the season here, and you know, still determine who they could play in the playoffs. So still a big big point of concern there. But once again, it will be uh, will be resolved when the Bruins get a few more games in. But I do wanted to talk about this very big part here of this game. It was a crucial line change that this team made. Um, one that we've been speaking about for a long time here. If you've been watching the past few videos, you know that I've been talking about it a lot, and a lot of you guys have been agreeing with me that this is really a point of concern for the Boston Bruins defense. And that was the uh, the line of Hampus Lindholm and Brandon Carlo has been changed out. They're both still in the lineup, which I think is the best idea. You know, two still very uh, good defensemen on their own right. Um, just wasn't working out on the same line. So Hampus Lindholm has now been paired with Andrew Peake. I really like that line in this game. Andrew Peake, you can see, once again, continuing to show why he deserves to be in the lineup every day when he was on Columbus. They didn't know how to do it. They put him into the Bruins, and it's working out very well. Um, Parker Wilderspoon and Brandon Carlo, that line wasn't as good. You know, I'm going to put it on uh, them being a new pairing. Still haven't really found each other out yet and, you know, found that chemistry as you know, Hampus Lindholm and Brandon Carlo had, um, but it's going to come, you know, still, that's why they're doing it now and not game one of the playoffs. They're still trying to work out what's going to work best for come playoff time against a specific matchup, and I think that this could be the answer. You know, I really do. I really liked how this team, uh, or this these lines worked out. Uh, like I said, the second line of Lindholm and Peak, that was still a very good line. You can see here, those two near the top here um, of the stat chart, Offense was great from them. The defense was just pretty bad for, like, everybody on this team. So we're not going to touch on that. But, you know, we've really seen that what this line could turn into, what it could be. And we've seen, you know, a slight glimpse of what Watherspoon and Carlo could turn into as well. But once again, I'm just going to say that's due to being on the second half of the back-to-back, -back, not playing with each other in an actual game scenario yet. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not going to judge that one too hard until we see it more, see how it comes out. But, you know... I will judge the second line. I really liked it. I really did. Um, I do think that they're meant to play on the same line together. You know, both pretty offensive, but it show they've shown that they're capable of running the defense as well. Andrew Peak. I'm still so pleased by his performances, Bruin, and what it's going to continue to be. 
um, as this uh, th as this progresses. But uh, we have one more topic here. You know, a very big one once again. The Bruins still like you know almost need to add another piece, and this could happen. The NCAA they have a top or they're linked, sorry, to a top NCAA free agent, which is very very inter interesting as um, the, you know the season goes on what we're going to see as well as the NCAA uh, season end tournament coming here soon so this is what this article comes from uh, this is from Boston Hockey Now it says according to a well placed NHL source the Boston Bruins are front runners to sign one of the most co uh, coveted NCAA free agents Quinnipiac forward Jacob Quillen who actually attended Bruins development camp in 2023 now I'm sure a lot of you may know him if you watched the uh, the final game of the NCAA tournament last year he scored the overtime winner um, you know giving Quinnipiac that much deserved win after how good they've played but this is a very interesting signing Jacob Quillen being 22 years old, but you can see the points he's putting up in college still very, very good. You know, especially Quinnipiac not being the best team in that league, but they've still shown that, as you can see last year, they won the tournament. They can play very good at a competitive level uh, against some of the top teams and some of the top uh, NHL prospects. So this would be a very interesting signing uh, if the Bruins could make anything like this happen. Um, you know, a left shot once again, you know, that's not too much, not too... Uh, important I guess you could say from the left and right the Bruins are in a pretty good spot with that but I would definitely like to see what he could do on the Boston Bruins he's not the biggest of guys so you can see there six foot 200 pounds uh you know a pretty average build I guess you could say uh but I, I definitely think that this would be an interesting one for the Bruins if they could add um you know not much else to say really he's just been a very promising free agent as you can see that's why he is the top free agent in uh the NCAA class so We'll be seeing what the Bruins do with this once the season ends for Quinnipiac. What happens? I'm sure there's going to be many other teams interested in him uh, from from the get-go. As soon as Quinnipiac, um, you know, gets eliminated or they win the tournament, whatever happens, uh, I'm sure his phone will be ringing, his agent's phone. So it'll be interesting to see what the Bruins can do on this one. I'll be keeping you updated on this. You know, it's definitely um, a big point of contention for the Bruins, I guess you could say. So uh, make sure hit the sub button. You know, I'll keep you up to date with all of this stuff. A lot of stuff going on with the Bruins. Uh, some sneaky moves, some small moves. But one final little bit uh, that I want to talk about here is the Bruins clinching scenario. Now, they don't play tonight, but they can clinch a playoff berth if the Red Wings lose to the Hurricanes in any fashion or the Flyers lose to the Canadians in regulation. So... Pretty, pretty good scenarios here for the Bruins to clinch. Unfortunately, they don't win to clinch, which, you know, is always nice to see. But still, a playoff spot is a playoff spot. Clinching is clinching. And the Bruins uh, definitely are more, you know, concerned about who they're going to be playing in the first round compared to when they're going to clinch. So this is all going to be uh, a very, very important final few games here for the Bruins for their, you know, their matchup competition. So like I said here in uh, the Quinnipiac prospect, I'll be keeping you up to date with all of it. So make sure to hit the sub button if you do not want to miss any major Boston Bruins news. But that's all I got here in this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to give the video a like. It lets me know you're enjoying the Bruins content, the Bruins updates, and uh, I'll keep grinding away, trying to get some more inside sources, I guess you could say. But that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. See you later.